What's up you guys? Ethers Mystical Child here coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you guys. Hopefully this reading is entertaining to you or useful to you. So the title is Who's Masturbating to You and Why? Shout out to my subscribers, new and old. What's popping with all my fellow Pisces if today's your birthday? Happy birthday. If you're a visitor, welcome. Return to visitors, welcome back. I don't know what's going to come out. So, I always say that because I take the truth with the the non-truth, the good with the bad. So, the timestamp is going to be in the description box and the message box. And yeah, pick your pal. Pal 1, 2, or 3. And then I'll see you in pal 1. Pal 1, if you pick this up, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you. Hopefully this reading will be useful to you. The title is Who's Masturbating to You and Why? Take what apply, leave the rest. And shout out to my subscribers, new and old. What's popping with you guys? If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So I already pulled out some of the oracles. These oracles can describe you or them or both of you. So this person so far is a Pisces here. So, shout out to my Pisces, fellow Pisces, not my Pisces, but I'm a Pisces. So, shout out to you guys if today's your birthday. Sh happy birthday to you. Well, hopefully you enjoying the Pisces season. This person could be a Pisces, or again, you could be the Pisces. You've been in this person's um, proximity in the last six months. So, you've been around this person in the last six months, whether you know them or not, or pay attention to them or not. This person collects things. They have a pride for their collectibles so they could collect like cars hats watches any they just collect things they like to collect things they have a knack for something and they just like to collect it um this person can be sarcastic this is not gonna go for everybody but this person could be um, a person with blue eyes and this person have a unite little unique smile some of these people talk fast or they um speed around they walk fast talk fast they just a person that moves fast or they're an impulsive person some of them have gaps in their teeth or they missing teeth some of them could have braces on their teeth this person could if it's a female could wear red lipstick or it could be a fire sign if they're not a fire sign sun they could be a fire sign moon um okay so let's see this is describing this person let's see a little more about this person. Who's this Pisces that's masturbating towards power one? It says divine masculine. So this person is your, your yang to your yin. So you guys could be like, like opposite sides for one another. This person want to apologize to you. They want to return to you. And apologize to you they want forgiveness for something that they have done somebody here could be Muslim or like to read the Quran or could be from or have um, like a Hindu type of um, religion tell me more about this Pisces that's masturbate into power This person likes to play games and they want a second chance. They want to apologize. They want to make amends. Two cards here. That is, this person is sorry for whatever they did to you. Whatever they need to apologize for. A.K.A. playing these games. These mind games. Wanting you to chase them. It seems for some of you guys, take what apply and leave the rest. Some of them is receptive to you. They feel vulnerable right now some of them could be a spiritual person it's strong that they're a spiritual person whether they practice it outright or it's something that they hide this person is a spiritual person some of them like rosaries or could um use rosaries when they pray this person also could be a person that's into football they like watching football or they play football or this person's into sports it could be american football or island football island football is soccer some of them have gambling issues, like they like to gamble. They could play CeeLo or anything that would use dice, like crap, CeeLo. Um, yeah. Let's see. 
where have this person seen where have this person it says clarity so this person want to bring some clarity to your situation could be into photography or like taking pictures or like taking selfies somebody like to have olympus cameras people who are into actual cameras like slr slr cameras and stuff like that or it could be a camera that you have that was passed down to you clarification for somebody where have this person seen power one in the last six months some of them think you are a twin flame and it's running twice see this person is obsessed with you again this person play a lot play games they're a game player or they're a very sporty person some of them like to run. They're very athletic. This person is, is seem like a very sporty person or a person that's athletic or someone who has a lot of energy. Some of you guys are mirroring souls. Again, opposite ends. Like I will use an example. Like you could be a Sagittarius and this person could be a Gemini. You have an intense connection with this person that's masturbating to you. But this person could have ghosted you as well. They could have ran away from you because uh, their feelings was too intense. Some of them could have ran away from you because they wanted to start a run it and chase a type of dynamic, which is a toxic dynamic. But they wanted you to put your effort into chasing them so your feelings could get involved. And then they can just kick back and do whatever they want to do. That's that chasing energy. When a person wants you to chase them, that's what they're doing if you don't know. Um... Let's go to another deck and start clarifying. Um, I'll go to your deck. The hermit is on the bottom. I knew the hermit was going to come out. Anytime I talk about sex, the hermit comes out. Hermit is a Virgo. This person smokes and daydream about you. Some of them like to live, like, um, some of them could live in campers. Or they like going camping. This person could be into, uh, what would I say, hippie type of vibes. Like they like to sit around campfires and play instruments. They could play guitars. This person is a big smoker. Some of them could have dreads. Some of them could have a big, big beard. This person is a person that's very creative though. Extremely creative. Very seductive as well. And they come across with good news. But being that the hermit is on the bottom, let's see. Gatekeepers, because the flip side of a Pisces is a Virgo. It says, I know you from somewhere. So you have a, you guys have a past life together. For those who believe in that energy, it's not a belief thing, but yeah, you guys, well, some of you whoever believe in it, because if you don't believe in it, you don't believe in it. But you guys have a past life together. This person has this type of energy that um, they are drawn to you. They are drawn to you because you feel familiar to them says listen to your heart so some of you listen to your heart in regards to this reading gatekeepers who's this uh not who why is this um hermit masturbating to power one i am manifesting you so they're using their um man they using masturbation to manifest you it's a form of sex magic so this person is pulling on your energy it says my life started when i met you so some of these people were lost until they met you. They had no, they didn't feel like they had a purpose in life. They met you and they feel now that they have a purpose. They feel like you are like, you know, not their purpose, their sole purpose, but you have ignited something in them. You have ignited this hermit energy. Some of you are very spiritual yourself. You are a go-getter. So you, what would I say? You help this person knowingly or unknowingly unblock themselves. Why is this Pisces? This is really not Pisces. I say Pisces, but a page of cups is a cancer energy. So this person could be a cancer. It says, what do you want? Happiness is my priority. I want you to choose. So this person is not confident in enough. It says to, time to ground yourself. So. Hermit energy is all about, like, grounding yourself. So you need to ground yourself. Everybody needs to ground themselves. Because sometimes we don't 
always be grounded. But this person, um, yeah, you ground this person. You're a steady, stable person. You can have a lot of earth in your chart. But it seems like this person is not confident enough in themselves to, to outright choose you. So they want you to choose them. As well with that, you probably have a lot of suitors, people who like you. And they see that you have a lot of people that like you. So again, they're not secure enough in themselves to go after you. So this is why they wanted you to chase them. If you're chasing them, that means you choose them. And happiness is their priority. So they need to, not they need, not they need. They're trying to find happiness and they think happiness is within you. As well, this person want to know what you want. So if you tell them what you want and they can supply that to you, it will be easier for them to um, be able to be with you because they know outright what you want. Some of you are secretive. You haven't told this person what you want. Hold on. For the ones that's not secretive, you played the game that they played. So if they didn't open up, you didn't open up. So this is um, this person wants to know what do you want. So it's like they want you to let their guards. They want you to let your guards down with them enough to let them know what you want or what you want from them to see for them to see if they can actually make it happen for some of them not all of them some of them are solely into playing games okay so i went through the hermit cards let me go back to your deck So we already know why this person is masturbating to you. They're manifesting you. So let's see if we could go somewhere else with this. You hear the song they said they want you back for good? Okay, gatekeepers. What is the truth behind this situation? The eight of wands. This person want to talk to you. And this person really want to have sex with you too. This person is holding a wand and they have a message to you. They have a message for you as they're holding a wand. Their message is they want to have sex with you. They want to be with you. They want to try to build something with you. So clarify this eight of wands. Why is this eight of wands here? The hermit is peeking out again. You see it? It's just sliding out. So I'll take the hermit out. This hermit wants you back for good. This Virgo or this Pisces wants you back for good. And then on the bottom is the magician. The magician is Virgo energy and Gemini energy. Strong Virgo energy here. Um, I'll take out the magician as well. But this is what y'all rebuttal to this person is. I'm not going to waste no more time on you. This person played mind games with you and had you chase them and you're over it. They want a second chance and you like it's a fin finality. Some of them wanted a second chance to play more games with you, but you walked away. This person, some of them want to play with your mind, play mind games with you, to have you like, um, have them. This person wanted to play mind games with you to have you mentally entrapped to them. Gatekeepers, tell me more about this, the lovers. For some of them, they really feel like you're a soulmate to them. A soulmate, twin flame, there is a strong connection here with you and this person who's masturbating to you. This person wants to, uh, what would I say? Reveal themselves to you. They want to, like, open up to you. This is my song. I'm about to get distracted and start singing and dancing. <laughs> Gatekeepers, um, who's this cancer for power one? And why are they masturbating towards power one? Because nobody got time to be playing no games with nobody. It's a knight of pentacles. Somebody that's just like stuck. This person's going nowhere fast. It's like they're they not making any moves towards you. This is also a person who stays stuck in a situation just because they decided to dedicate themselves to the situation. Prime example, this person could be a person that has... A relationship with somebody and they there because they 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 decided to be there or say for instance they have a child there even though they're not happy and everything is going to shit they're going to stay there this person needs to have more confidence in life more 
They need to be more secure in themselves, this person. Okay, so what time is it? Damn, we 15 minutes in already, so I'm about to leave this, this pile. Because I'm not going to drag it on to 20 minutes. I'm going to stop doing that. Power 1, I've been doing that since I started this channel. You guys get all the time. I'm going to stop that. So let me get some last messages for you. I'll get you the sexual deck. We'll get sexual real quick. And then I'm going off to Pal. Pal 2. Gatekeepers, why is this Cancer or this Virgo? Six of Swords. You walked away from this person. No, Seven of Swords. This person betrayed you. This person was deceptive. Very deceptive when it came to your relationship. Whatever relationship you had, it was deceptive. Tell me more about this um, Cancer or this Virgo or this Gemini. For Pisces. For Pisces. Why well, say for Pisces? Maybe you guys could be a Pisces. There's Pisces. I don't know why I said for Pisces. There's strong Pisces energy. I don't know why I said that. I don't know. Gatekeepers, um, I just got distracted. Why is this person masturbating to this Cancer, Virgo, Gemini energy? The Pisces is kind of like with this Page of Cups, because like I said, I always say Pisces, but yeah, that just came out. This person can be a Pisces, or it's you guys. Um, what we have? We have the Seven of Cups. This person thought that they, I don't even know what question I asked anymore. My brain just got like distorted. Like, somebody just, like, stop me. Like, don't say anymore. Like, this person had, um, okay, with this deception, this person had, like, I can't show you the card. This person was um, dishonest because they thought they had a lot of options. This is also a person with a lot of sexual partners. So this person could be a person that's in a community. Or if this person don't have a lot of sexual partners, this person loves the way your dick look. They get enticed when they see your dick. If this is a male as well, they like to see you um squirt or cum and this is what they daydream about when they um when they masturbate into you they think about the sex that y'all had or the sex that y'all could have you have the three of pentacles here this person want to ravage you this person loves your breasts as well they just want to ravage you it's like this person say for instance like y'all sitting down talking right or it's in, in this person mind they don't want to sit down and talk they just want to ravage you i'll show you i'll cover her vagina this person just want to ravage you they want to take you by storm they just all in their mind they master this person have a real sexual um a sexual burning inside of them for you this person love your breasts some of them like to suck on your breasts like they breastfeeding <laughs> they like to suck on your breasts and and playing your pussy at the same time like with their thumb if you've had sex with this person She's 18 minutes in. If you have got something from this, like and or subscribe. Going off to Pow 2. Till next time in Tower Lane. It says, don't take my kindness for weakness. So somebody here have taken somebody, their kindness for weakness. Pow 2, if you pick this deck, this your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully this reading is useful to you. If you're a visitor, new or old, welcome. Welcome back. Who's popping to all my subscribers? No or old. The title is Who's Masturbating Towards You and Why. So I pulled out some of your oracles already. So some of these oracles came from Pal um, 1. So this person could be a, a Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio. But it's really a Pisces energy. This person likes to collect things. So this could be describing you or them or both of you guys. Take what apply and leave the rest. This person has a pet. They like to collect things. They have a, a personal collection that came out in power one shout out to you guys who came from power one and shout out to my fellow pisces if today's your birthday happy birthday it says your, your path will cross in the next air season so the next air season is gemini season that's springtime and that's coming up soon this person have an odd birth an odd number birth year like they was born in 71 or 73 83 Something like that. They want to send you a message. And you met this person more than a year ago. And this person is three to five years age difference between you two. These are all the cards that came out in one go. I'll just pick out two more. This person has severe allergies. And this person's first name begins with an allergy. I mean an allergy. Ooh. 
Maybe you're allergic to this person. <laughs> this person first they begin with a vowel, A E I O U, or maybe a Y. So let's see why this person about. Okay, hold on. What is this message that they want to send a pile to? This person that's masturbating. Decision. This person is at a crossroad. This person is in the middle of making a decision with where they are and where they want to go. And they want to send you a message and talk to you about this. This is a masculine energy. The divine masculine came out in power one. Shout out to you guys again. So if you haven't gone over there, you should go over there. This person is like the yin to your yang. This person could be the opposite sign of you. This person have is caught in fears though, and lim in, in they caught in fears and limitations, and it crossed the decisions. So this person is scared to talk to you. It seems like, or whatever decisions they need to make for themselves. This person seems like they somewhere and they not happy. This person is a the person that's like kind of like depressed. It's like anything that they try to strike out on, it doesn't work out for them. Tell me more about this masculine for pal two. They closed off and guarded and resisted. So if this person is masturbating to you, they're holding on to your memories. And they feel safer holding on to your memories than actually talking to you. This person wants forgiveness and really want to apologize to you. Tell me. Hold on. Let's see. Spark and renewal came out and it's in reverse. So this person is like doesn't have any sparks, anything that brings them joy in their life. They don't have anything that is, uh, yeah, no newness in their life. They're not, they just stuck and closed off. This person is probably stuck on a karmic wheel as well, being that they're facing limitations and fears. But they, some of you, when I say they hold on to your energy, you give this person inspiration. You give them spark. You give them renewal. You give them hope. Tell me more about this masculine. And why they masturbate towards power two? The five of cups in reverse. You no longer, some of you no longer um, depressed about this person. You came out of depression about this person and they upset about that. And then you have the devil. You have the five of cups and then you have the devil. This person have a lot of vices. This person has a lot of vices, this masculine. This is why they closed off and resistant and have fears and limitation because they innate devil energy. Somebody here could be a Capricorn or a Cancer. This person as well, they like to bring money to the to the table. They like to lure young people in with money and, and tricks and, and treats and stuff like that. Some of you probably was lured in like that and your intuition was trying to tell you don't get lured into this person, but you were lured into this person. This is the person that's masturbating towards you or you was with this person when you were younger and this person it says a three to five years age difference and it's definitely look like a three to five year or more age difference but this person is toxic this person has addiction issues this person is definitely hypersexual and this person is living in a shadow side and they like to manipulate tell me more about this five of cups in reverse and this devil and why they Yeah, this person won't give you love anytime you're ready, but that's all they're going to give you. It's just love. You have the seven of pentacles. They didn't invest in you. There was no investment here. Tell me more about this seven of pentacles and three of cups. I mean, five of cups with this devil. Yeah, this person held back. It was reserved. Some of them was uptight with you. They thought they were better than you. They always had their face bent up when it came to you. Some of them could be a Virgo or a Taurus or a Capricorn. But this can be a... This could be a, Tor, a Virgo. A Four of Pentacles. That's a Virgo energy. Seven of the Pentacles is a Virgo energy. Strong Virgo energy. And Virgo energy was strong in Power 1. What does this person want to say to um, Power 2? 